Well, hello and welcome to Positivity Now, the show that focuses on all things positive. I am your host, Jonas Kane, and we are on the fourth episode of our eight episode series on the eight steps for thinking, being, and staying positive. The question that we're asking is, are you positive? Positive is, of course, an acronym for these eight steps. Uh, last time, we talked about stimulating your passions. This week, we're talking about the next step in the phase, which is to identify your responsibilities. And this is important because we live in a culture now where <laughs> so often we like to avoid responsibility or we like to uh, pass the responsibility on to others. I read a story a number of years ago and uh, for a long time I kept this story printed out and hung on my wall so that every day I would walk by and be reminded of this story and I'll paraphrase it here. There was a, a certain farm that um, that needed a farmhand. The, the farmer just was uh, had too much work and he needed to get some help so uh, he, he, he was doing some interviews he, he found this guy and uh, during the interview, the, the, the farmer asked him, he said, well, what will make you a good farmhand? Why should I hire you instead of anyone else? And the farmhand said, oh, I can sleep when the wind blows. The farmer was very confused by this, but no one else had said anything like this before. Sleeping when the wind blows, what does this mean? Well, the farmer ended up giving this guy a chance and, uh, and sure enough, the farmhand was doing a great job. Everything was going wonderful until, until the wind started blowing. One night, uh, a huge storm came, th came through the, the farm and the, the farmer and his wife woke up in a hurry and it said, oh my goodness, there's this terrible storm. The wind is blowing. So they, they jumped out of the bed and, they, and they, they ran to the farmhand's quarters and said, hey, get out of bed. We have to uh, hunker everything down, make sure everything's okay. And the farmhand, <laughs> when he heard this, he said, oh no, no, remember. I can sleep when the wind blows. And he just went back to sleep. The, the farmer was furious. He almost fired the guy on the spot, but it, it was in the middle of an emergency. So he started running around, making sure everything was hunkered down. But here's the thing. He was making sure everything was in his place, making sure the animals were put away, making sure the, the everything, all, all the windows were closed, but everything was in its place. The animals were where they needed to be. There were no farm tools left outside. Everything was put away because the farmhand had taken care of all of his responsibilities uh, like he should have. He was being responsible even when you're able to think you can relax your responsibilities, thinking, oh, what's this one time? But no, this, this farmhand could sleep when the wind blew, he could rest easy during the storms of life because even during the calm seasons, he did everything he needed to do. He tended to his responsibilities every day. So taking responsibility, identifying our responsibilities is key to living a life that is positive. Uh, there's a concept known as radical responsibility and it's the idea of, of taking responsibility for everything. Now this is a very extreme example, a very extreme example, uh, but it does have its power. Instead of passing responsibility onto other people, instead of saying, oh, someone else will do it, say, oh, if not me, who? If not me, who? If there's a problem and you can find an opportunity and you're empowered to, 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 to change it, well, why not you? However, that being said, there's a caveat in it that there's a difference between what you can and cannot influence. For example, uh, you could fight with gravity all day long, <laughs> but if you choose to fight gravity, I guarantee you will lose every single time. <laughs> so there is a difference between uh, taking responsibility for things that are just completely out of your control. Um, and I have a 
a perfect example of this with a magic trick that I'd like to show you. So let's take a look. With this step, our goal is to identify our responsibilities because we, not everything is within our control. And if we are not able to do something, if something is impossible, we will never be held responsible for it. However, with magic, all things are possible. For example, getting this coin into this bottle is an impossible task. For one, it has a cork in it, so it's impossible to get in. However, even if it didn't have the cork, the coin is too big. It's not going to be able to fit through the narrow gap. So our goal then is to get the quarter inside. And if we are not a magician, we would not be responsible for this. But I've been planning, playing, and pursuing. So I believe I can do this. All I have to do is say the magic words. Positivity now. <laughs> On the count of one, two, and three. The coin literally jumps inside the bottle. Everyone go, ooh. <laughs> now notice, because the coin is too big, it will not come out of the bottle. This is an impossible task. To get that coin now out of the bottle, well, it is possible you just break the bottle. <laughs> but if you're a magician, there is another way. The magic wand. The magic tweezers. <laughs> you align the quarter inside the neck of the bottle just right. And you do a little move. It's called the twist and turn and pull. And when you do it just right, the coin <laughs> comes right out of the bottle. Everyone go, yay! <laughs> now, of course, getting that coin Getting that coin into the bottle and then out of the bottle, that is a, a, a very difficult task. However, if you are a magician, very easy to, to do. Because if you are a magician, nearly anything becomes possible, up to and including creating the illusion that are we even here at all? Is anything ever real at all? Let's take a look using the magic handkerchief of mystery. The bottle goes inside the bag. All I have to do is wave my hand, say the magic words, and the bottle will disappear. No, yes, on the count of one, two, and three. You are not going to believe this, but the bottle has disappeared. Now I'll make it come back. And it's back, thank you very much. I, I can hear the phone calls and letters coming in now. Yes, <laughs> I told you you weren't going to believe this, so I wasn't lying, was I? No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll do this again, but this time it'll be twice as hard because now, well, I actually have to do it. The bottle goes inside the makeshift bag. I wave my hand, say the magic words, positivity now. And when I do, the bottle will completely disappear. No, yes, <laughs> on the count of one, two, and three positivity now and the bottle completely disappears and that my friends is magic wasn't that fun is it magic fun <laughs> but i showed you that example to really illustrate how how we we can't be held responsible for things that we just are not empowered to do if something is impossible we will never be required to do it According to a recent research, a full 50% of our lives is completely out of our control. Meaning that 50% of our lives, it's, it's our DNA, it's our biology. We, we can't control who our parents or our ancestors are, right? So that's just whoosh, right off of our shoulders. We don't have to worry about it. The other 50% are things that we, we can influence. Now, 10% uh, uh, of it, according to research, it's, it's said to be our experiences. 
It's our environments. It's the friends that we have. It's the, uh, it's the jobs that we have. It's the hobbies. Now, certainly, we have a stronger influence on these things. We can't control them 100%, but we can, we can control um, uh, where we give our attention to. Now, the other 40%, this is huge because this is a real game changer. The other 40% of our life, we totally have complete control over. And that 40% is our choices. It's how we respond to the 50% of our life that we can't change. It's how we respond to the 10% of life that we can influence. We have 40% control over our choices, how we respond to these things. Think about this. We are exactly where we should be today. We are exactly where we should be today, considering all of the choices that we've made up until this moment. All of the responsibilities that we took and all of the responsibilities that we've avoided. There's a, a, a perfect quote here. It says, we may not be able to predict the future, which is true, we can't predict it, but what we can do is decide on our daily habits and it's what we do every day that determines our future. So while we can't predict the future, what we can do is influence our future by choosing our daily habits carefully, taking responsibilities, even when avoiding responsibilities would be easier, maybe get us out of trouble, <laughs> maybe make life a little easier in the short term. Now, ultimately, there are three kinds of people when it comes to making choices, making that 40% that of our life that we can control, there are three types of people. Those who know what they want and know what they want to do, but don't do it. In other words, they are frustrated uh, and they might even become unconfident, discouraged, afraid, scared, or even lazy. Number two, the other type of people, there are those who don't know what they would like to do. In other words, they're confused. Right? So there's the frustrated, there's the confused, and number three, there are those who know what they want to do, and they do it. In other words, they are fulfilled. Before I leave, I'd like to point out th th just the simple magic in this step for thinking, being, and staying positive. To identify your responsibilities, determine what you can control. Right. Because remember, you will never be responsible for things that lie outside of your control. Ignore the 50% of your life that you can't control and focus on the things that you have full power over. And I'll leave you with this quote. It isn't the things you do, but rather it's the things that you leave undone, which gives you a bit of heartache at the setting of the sun.